Mod Hut Managing Editor Vanessa Remmers here with this issue's news in 90 seconds. A few weeks ago, the Student Assembly passed the Steer Clear Act, which will set aside funding for a mobile app program that will allow students to request pickup by Steer Clear through computers and phones. The program will also provide Steer Clear drivers with tablets so as to alleviate the difficulties in coordination that have plagued them in the past, which have included long waiting times and drivers picking up the same person. Due to the efforts of the programming club, use of the website and the student service request will be free. The program is expected to be released at the end of the semester. On October 8th, the college announced that Chan Glover would serve as the head of the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity after the Office of Community and Diversity Initiatives merged with the Department of Equal Opportunity. This decision came after Tammy Curry, the former director of Equal Opportunity, left the college. Office officials expect increased efficiency as both departments, often working on the same issues separately, will be forced to work together to achieve the goals. According to a report released by the New America Foundation, President Obama's student loan repayment program, which lowers the payments graduates must make to 10% of their income and allows them to apply for loan forgiveness after 10 years, will be disproportionately benefit high-income students over low-income students. While low-income borrowers may see $5 to $25, $20 reduced from their monthly payments, high-income borrowers may see potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars forgiven after only a decade. And that's this issue's news in 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.